name's Dave Starbuck, and welcome to another presentation from Revelation Tapes. Now, as I'm sure many of my listeners know, and various correspondents in different parts of the world, uh, in the United States, I'm sure you're already aware that uh, in the United States, it is a, uh, more or less an ele electronic internment camp, although many people do not realize this. And here in the United Kingdom, we have a similar setup, uh, a similar state of affairs, uh, and thankfully, people are gradually waking up to that. And uh, in the uh, in the United Kingdom, there are two industries which are on their knees. One is the news industry, and the other is the insurance industry. Uh, in the news industry, here in the UK, I can't speak for the rest of Europe, but each week, sometimes certain days, they give away free DVDs and CDs. This is, the answer to this is simple, because they can't sell the newspapers. Now, in Europe, uh, in Germany and other European countries, a similar situation exists. Now, one country I am not familiar with uh, is Scandinavia, and one particular country, Norway, uh, that from according to one of my top correspondents in Norway, the situation is even worse. Now, my Norwegian is about as good as the average English person's understanding of Mandarin Chinese. Chinese. But one person who is prepared to speak out and uh, is a man, Eric Strand, about the situation in Norway, especially regarding mental hospitals and so on. So, uh, without further ado, we'll now go over to Eric Strand uh, in Norway. Uh, good evening, uh, Eric, and first of all, welcome to Revelation Tapes and agreeing to this interview. Thank you very much. Now, good evening. Good evening. And um, I wonder, before we, we get down to, uh, if you like, the nuts and bolts of this discussion, uh, would you care to tell the listener a little bit about yourself, a, bit, a little bit about your background and so forth? Yes. My name is Erik Strand. I live in the south of Norway, south of Oslo. I have uh, studied mathematics in the university and worked a bit as a teacher. Um, for um, a bit more than t 10 years ago, I read some articles about uh, some severe cases of uh, human rights abuse in Norway. And uh, I was uh, politically act active at that time, so I think I thought that this is really something I have to uh, take up with uh, party comrades and others. So uh, I took contact with people who are, uh, were active on the field. And in 1997, we started an organization called FAMPO, that's F-A-M-P-O. Uh, from the start, it was an organization um, that uh, worked against abuse of psychiatry. Um, you see that Norway is actually the country in Europe with the highest uh, level of number of um, of uh, coercive hospitalizations relative to the um, population numbers. So that was what we concentrated on and represented people uh, being uh, taken into psychiatry. And later on, um, we um, had into our statutes that we also worked on other things that had to do with human rights and um, corruption, and we um, like uh, we will work for um, free speech. So I have been a board member of FAMPO since uh, uh, 2001, and uh, have uh, written, for example, some uh, open letters to um, to politicians and to uh, yes, uh, mostly to politicians and. Uh, Mm, writing some leaflets and articles to spread out to people. Yeah, now, on uh, uh, a, pr a previous discussion, you mentioned uh, something about the Nobel Prize. Could you uh, expand on that? Uh, yes. Uh, Norway is um, known as the um, uh, country handing out the Nobel Prize every year, finding uh, a worthy candidate. So people, uh, um, they tend to... Uh, um, associate Norway with this, and uh, then one should uh, hope that 
this um, country that uh, does this as a worthy candidate of handing it out to someone who had, has furthered peace, development, and democracy. But uh, unfortunately, the situation is on this uh, subject is really bad in Norway. Yeah. No. <clears throat> As we know, Norway is supposed to be a democracy, uh, respecting human rights. Uh, um, but in view of you, what you've just said, Eric, uh, this is far from the case. C could you uh, expand on that? Yes. Um, when I introduced myself and the organization, and it meant psychiatry. So we we are. Uh, can I will come back to psychiatry later. But we are the country in Europe that. Uh, uh, uses coercive um, hospitalization, hospitalization the most uh, if you take it relative to population numbers. And uh, we have some grave cases um, where uh, people have been um, labeled that is insane because of uh, their um, uh, disclosure of uh, corruption and uh, illegal condition in Norway. Yeah. Now, now, how can this happen in a country like Norway, where, where uh, freedom of speech is supposed to be free, uh, and uh, an informed and an enlightened population? Well, the, um, one thing is that uh, the media does really not inform on these things. Uh, in, in Norway, it's um, completely okay to go to the newspaper with your opinions. You can uh, easily get them print uh, uh, something saying that it, oh, it's so corrupt in Norway. It's the politicians are lying, and uh, say, and uh, the prime minister, or if you say that the prime minister is an idiot, that that's uh, maybe on the border, but you can say that. But. When it, if you come with documentation and are concrete, then it's worse. And many people who have really believed that we have an enlightened and informed population, when they have um, met problems with some, uh, uh, for example, with um, uh, child protection um, authorities who have wanted to take away their children or um, with the legal system, they may have called a uh, journalist and the journalist have said, oh, we're going to write, write about this. But um, many people have said that when uh, this journalist has spoken with his boss, the, the door seems to be closed and there meets some um, excuse, excuses for uh, not uh, writing about this. And uh, 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 there are some uh, disclosure of corruption and misbehavior in uh, in uh, the state, but that's on uh, relatively harmless issues. So that that only confirms the false belief that we have uh, uh, a system where uh, what my might be of corruption is disclosed, okay? Yes, uh, uh, in, uh, in short, uh, with journalists, as in this country and the United States, and if you what you say in Norway, there are certain uh, topics or subjects to, that if you write about it will be journalistic suicide. And since you mentioned uh, uh, child protection, from another one of my correspondents, I understand that uh, this may be before your time, but during the Second World War, Norwegian women who had children to Germans, when they were born, they were uh, they were taken. Uh, they were taken into protection or some institution. And one uh, lady was belonged to. Uh, I think it was Abba. Uh, mother managed to escape to Sweden uh, uh, to to prevent a child being put in, into protection. Um, and uh, it's uh, it's very serious now.